Hello, I'm Joe Harbison. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning in the School of Medicine in Trinity College, Dublin. I'm going to talk to you about studying medicine in Trinity. In this short presentation, I'm going to talk about various aspects of becoming a medical student in Trinity College, Dublin. I'm going to talk about admissions and the admission process, the vital details of the School of Medicine, the course, medical course. I'm going to talk about why you'd want to pick medicine at Trinity College, Dublin. I'm going to go a little, talk a little bit about the curriculum overview and the curric curriculum structure and about medicine as a career. So every year Trinity takes uh, about 200 medical students. The CAO points for entry in 2020 was at 734 with some random, random selection at that number. And these include, of course, the HPAT score, the Health Professions Aptitude Test. For other exam systems, we do take a large number of international students, um, proportionality is applied. And please see the TCD admissions website to get more information about this. We take mature, advanced entry and Trinity access programs candidates. Uh, we don't take graduate entry, however. However, if you are a graduate, you may apply through the mature entry process. Non-EU applicants can make contact with their relevant offices. We take non-EU graduates from all over the world. Entry into Trinity College Dublin is competitive. Every year we get over a thousand applicants for our 200 places. And if you have any queries relating with admission, please direct them to our admissions office at admissions at tcd.ie. So here are some of the vital facts about uh, medicine in Trinity. The School of Medicine in Trinity was established in 1711, so over 300 years ago, but we've been graduating doctors MD since 1610. It's a five-year programme. We have about 115 to 120 CAO places on offer every year, and our total intake every year is 200 students. 25% of our student population come from non-traditional uh, pathways, that is DARE, HERE, Mature Entry, um, and Trinity Access Program. About 40% of our class come from uh, countries outside the EU, and we've been taking international students for well over 150 years. Our teaching takes place in the Trinity Biomedical Science Institute in year one and year two, and our clinical teaching takes place in a range of hospitals, but in particular our teaching hospitals in James's Hospital in Dublin 8 and in Tower in Dublin 24. Uh, these are all connected to the Trinity Biomedical Science Institute by the Lewis Line. Um, we also teach in St. Patrick's Psychiatric Hospital, in the Coombe and Rotunda Maternity Hospitals. We teach um, in the Peamount Hospital uh, in County Dublin, and we talk about re-enablement and rehabilitation in that hospital, as well as in the NRH in Dunleary. We also will be teaching in the new National Children's Hospital on the, Trin uh, on the St. James's Hospital site, by the time um, our next year graduates or next year students enter the medical school. This photograph here is of the uh, specific medical library in St. James's Hospital, the John Stern Library. And these are our two main teaching hospitals. On the top is St. James's Hospital, which has over 900 beds and is the largest teaching hospital in the country. And then connected by the Lewis Line is Tala Hospital, which is another a large 600 bed teaching hospital. With, and both of these hospitals have large Trinity teaching centres and uh, lectures, lecture spaces, seminar spaces, etc. There are three phases of the curriculum. In year one, we talk, uh, teach about uh, the basic sciences, but also introduce you to patient ca uh, care for the first time, as well as other important topics such as ethics. I'll discuss this a little bit more in the next slide. As you move into phase two, the science starts becoming directed towards the human and the and and the uh, individual in topics such as uh, molecular medicine, neurosciences, and the mechanisms of disease. You also in year two start learning clinical skills and how to interview and examine uh, a patient. In year three, you spend most of your time on the wards in our large teaching hospitals. Um, but also there's a, a course in laboratory medicine, clinical pharmacology, and microbiology. Um, as you move to, to year four and start uh, considering finishing your training, we do uh, more training in specialist hospitals. And finally, in your final year, 
uh, as much of it spent learning about medicine and surgery before you finish in April and start to practice as an intern in, in, in the hospitals in uh, July. So here's our curriculum overview. In year one, we start with important sciences such as biochemistry, anatomy and physiology. But we also emphasize human de uh, development, behavioral science, ethics, and also we have student selected uh, modules such as humanities, where you can take modules in things like medical history, drama, um, philosophy. In year two, the science becomes more directed towards clinical care. We start talking about pharmacology, clinical biochemistry, neuroscience, and we finish off training of, on, on anatomy and head and neck and of neuroanatomy. We also talk about personalized medicine and molecular medicines of disease, immunology and infection. Throughout the course, we talk about professionalism, professional practice, and the fundamentals of clinical and, and professional practice, including clinical skills and ethics. In year three, we start learning more about specific pharmacology and the use of drugs to treat patients, as well as pathology and the use of laboratory investigative medicine, microbiology to investigate patients. Uh, we also begin to teach you about uh, radiology and, and diagnostic imaging. Much of the year is spent teaching you about the principles of medicine and surgical practice. And we also um, uh, teach more advanced clinical skills and how to teach, uh, um, how to perform minor procedures, which we encourage students to practice on the wards. Because at this point, you now, we say, finish being medical students and start becoming student doctors. In year four, you undertake rotations in obstetrics and gynecology, public health and primary care, uh, psychiatry and child health. We also emphasize important topics such as medical jurisprudence and ethics. In final year, um, we emphasize finishing off your training in medicine and surgery. And throughout the years, we encourage elective practice, uh, studying in hospitals, both in Ireland and abroad and in other um, healthcare associated environments, such as general practices, etc. Um, throughout the year we emphasize uh, research and investigation and critical thinking. So why Trinity? We feel in Trinity that we prioritize education. Uh, the size of the school is we feel uh, highly suited to maximizing both the possibilities of, of interaction and student life but also not become so big that um, we, we merely become a conveyor belt for doctors, producing doctors. You get patient contact from year one, a family case study where you go out and you watch your baby develop over um, um, six months and how the new family uh, cope with the, the arrival of their new baby. We have research integrated throughout the course. And indeed in year two, you can conduct your own research project. And some of our students have presented their research projects at both national and international meetings. We emphasize small group learning and problem-based learning, particularly in year one and year two. Uh, we've revamped our year three course to maximize small group learning uh, with small uh, pods led by qualified doctors who are also our lecture registrars. There is an Erasmus option in year three. It's in Nantes in France. And we uh, also take students from Nantes uh, uh, within our first uh, year three uh, or our year three clinical course. Our students have an option to take an intercalated a Master's of Science. Um, they do this typically after year three. Uh, and this enables them to get an MSc in um, subjects like neuroscience, molecular medicine or microbiology. Um, when you graduate from uh, Trinity, uh, you graduate with a BMB, Bachelor of Medicine, BAO, Bachelor of the Art of Obstetrics, and BCH, uh, uh, Bachelor of Surgery. But also the uh, BA that all Trinity students get on graduation. And if you take your intercalated masters, you may also graduate with an MSc. There's a foundation scholarship in second year. This is a very challenging exam that not all students take. 
However, it's uh, quite valuable in that it will provide accommodation in Trinity for up to five years with either um, fees covered or um, heavily subsidized um, and free food if you choose to have it or, a, or an annual um, stipend. However, only about six or seven percent of the class will get, get this every year. We encourage electives. We have elective partners around the world, including in places like Australia, uh, United States, Canada, uh, but also places like Beirut uh, and other places in Europe. Um, what's really good about Trinity is it's centered, or both our, our um, medical school, the TBSI, is centered in, right in the center of Dublin. Uh, and it's within easy connection of all our medical school um, or all our uh, teaching uh, associate hospitals. Uh, the furthest out we have in Ireland is NACE, uh, which is easily connectable by train. And uh, we have, however, one um, training partner in the Isle of Man, which some of our students will uh, opt to go to in third year to get experience of learning in a different um, healthcare regime. Um, it would be difficult to do a presentation in 2020 without talking about COVID. We've done very well in, in dealing with COVID. Uh, we've maintained about 30 to 40% face-to-face -face teaching in our preclinical years and about 80% face-to-face -face teaching in, in our clinical years, simply by taking careful, sensible precautions, but also to train our doctors in, in, in how to uh, prevent themselves and their patients uh, and colleagues becoming unwell. We've actually had students back on the wards for four months with no significant problems. Um, and we're continuing to produce high quality in-person education and training. But it's not all about hard work, although it would be impossible to deny that hard work is a, a large part of it. Uh, the Trinity um, Students Society, TCD Biosoc, is one of the oldest medical student societies in the world and is involved in, in both educational and social organizations. And there's over 200 other societies in Trinity College that you can become a part of. And we encourage uh, people, to, our students to do so. Every year, our medical students organize Med Day. It's a charity day where they uh, raise funds for local charities, both uh, health related, but also uh, education related. And the a medical school gives a day off every year to allow the students to do this. It's also a day where a large amount of partying goes on. A further student's charity is called MOVE, the Medicine Overseas Volunteer Electives. And this raises money for students who are volunteering to go undertake electives in their clinical years in the developing world. Uh, the Association of Medical Students in Ireland link all the medical school, schools in the country. And there is a, a very active Trinity College Dublin chapter of this. We also have smaller specialist societies for people who have particular interests in, in various areas of medicine. This includes the Obstetrics and Gynecology Society, Paediatric Society, Surgical Society, Emergency Medicine Society, uh, and the Aging Society. So once you've chosen a medicine career, there's a long path. Uh, your student preclinical and student clinical studies can take five or six years, and then at the end of this, you can go on to become an intern. Uh, and internship lasts a year, and essentially it is to allow you to become a, an independently uh, working um, uh, doctor. The intern year is highly supervised. When you become a junior doctor, you may become a junior doctor for anything between two and five years. Uh, um, and before entering uh, a specialism, and this includes general practice, um, uh, um, surgery, medicine, or really anything you want. One of the things we pride ourselves in Trinity is that our, our doctors have become, uh, have gone on to become um, and enter specialties uh, of all types. Uh, uh, training in Trinity College does not limit you to any area of medicine. Uh, we encourage research and many of our um, graduates have become uh, um, uh, well-known and famous researchers and, uh, and have carried out very important research uh, that's benefited ma mankind. Um, and a lot of our teachers and a lot of our clinical staff are what we would call um, 
academic physicians. So they both work as working doctors in the hospital, but also have a research uh, um, activity and a certain research profile too. So if you have any further questions, we're sorry we can't meet you in person this year, but please, please visit our website online where there's much, much more information uh, on the School of Medicine, on our course and all the activities that go on with us. If you have an admission specific inquiries, please visit the admissions stand uh, or email our admissions department at admissions at tcd.ie.